Hi YouTube. Um, today I'm vlogging about a group of Ohio nuns calling themselves the Children of Mary. They launched, they launched an anti-contraception video on the internet this weekend, hoping to scare girls into um, getting rid of their birth control. They're using outdated information from the 70s. Oh, I'm sorry. How rude of me. He's angry. This is my very good friend, Lou. Lou belongs to a friend of mine. I'm currently bird sitting. Lou, can you say hello? Mm. He's just a finger nibbler. Anyway, um, sorry for the glare. Uh, but yeah, so this Ohio group of nuns, It's uh, this video is called the You Deserve to Know the Truth Contraception, which it, in this article I'm reading says utilizes some pretty sketchy science to convince women that contraception is wrong, beginning with the idea that birth controls makes women less desirable to their partners. It also says that the pill um, deceives a woman's body into thinking they're pregnant and thus blocks the all-important flow of pheromones. Now, while part of that is true, part of that may not, but apparently, and this is what they're getting at, that it confuses men and leads them to um, take on homosexual behavior and also, um, oh gosh, uh, homosexual, oh yes, and to, uh, to cheat on their partners, uh, wives, etc., and that uh, the pill is just this terrible, awful thing, and that birth control leads to all sorts of horrible things. And they're also fighting against um, IVF. This, this video is just awful. They're fighting against IVF saying that for every one child born, 30 children are frozen. Now, I don't know about you, but a clump of cells the size of the, my fingernail, which looks kind of small there, see it? They say that that's a child. Uh, I don't know about you, but that's a clump of cells. A child is something you can hold in your arms. That's a clump of cells. Um, but it says that the video does mention some very real possible side effects, which are true, and I've read my birth control uh, package that says, you know, irritability, depression, blood clots, high blood pressure, etc. Um, but I think that they're also trying to say that you can get it from condoms, IUDs, diaphragms, the shot, the patch, um, Nuva. I think they're trying to... <laughs> I think they're trying to get people to believe all this nonsense that isn't scientifically proven at all. They're basically using something that we like to call on the internet slut-shaming, which is telling a girl that she can't have any sexual partners before she's married. And they're not really focusing on men at all, which, I mean, of course, with birth control you deal with women. But what they're doing is they're targeting girls, and they're using guilt and sketchy science and slut-shaming, essentially. Making a girl or a young woman feel guilty about having sexual feelings, being on the pill. They're, they're also denying the presence of a, um, of a, a population crisis. They're saying that the world is not overpopulated, and they're saying that this is all a lie, and all sorts of horrible, horrible, just misinformation. Uh, I believe they use the term, we're not stray cats that need to be neutered. We should want to procreate, knowing that every new person has a unique and immortal soul designed to live for all eternity. They're also saying that pregnancy is not a risk, it's a privilege. And they use a bunch of like really happy floaty pictures of, of women with bellies, and they're all happy, and they're like, oh, look at me, I've got a baby! <laughs> I don't know about you, but from the information that I've gotten from my pregnant friends, Pregnancy, while it has its beautiful aspects, not so hot. I mean, you have hemorrhoids and deep vein thrombosis or whatever. I think that's what it is. But either way, you get like those big veins and I mean, nobody wants that, right? What's going on? I mean, come on, America. Are these nuns really that uneducated? See, this is why I advocate for a comprehensive sex education program that's government funded that includes, but is not limited to, abstinence. Now, abstinence is a great idea, but it shouldn't be forced on anyone. I have friends who are my age, and I'm almost 21, who are still virgins. I have friends who are older and are still virgins, and that's their own choice. That's their own choice to abstain. But the thing is, it should be a choice. It shouldn't be something forced on you. I mean, sex is great. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sex is wonderful, but 
the reason that, I mean, I mean, sex is great. And for that reason, we should be educated about it in a scientific and thorough manner. But we're not. Where I come from, we were slut-shamed and guilted and told that any kind of sexual thought was immoral and wrong. But yet they still told us that God gave us these bodies and that we should, you know, enjoy them and, and, and do, you know, do with them, but only in the confines of marriage. Otherwise, God's not okay with that. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, and don't even get me started on masturbation. Mm, that's a no-no, because self-gratification is just self. Okay. I think that before that you can try to pleasure another partner, you should probably figure out what, um, sets off your rocket, you know? Push some buttons, feel around, get under the hood, you know, that kind of thing. But what I don't get is why religious institutions insist on telling us lies. Oh, well, there you go. Say hello, Lou. Um, but these nuns are basically doing the same thing. They're indoctrinating people. They're lying to them. They're misrepresenting science. They're using quotes from the Bible that have nothing to do with this. It's kind of like whenever you go to church and you get mad at people for taking a quote from the Bible and then... Uh, for, from a completely unrelated topic and then relating it to something that they're trying to get across and it has nothing to do with what you're trying to say I mean we're all guilty of it but religious institutions I've seen are more guilty of it because they're trying to get you to believe what they want you to do especially the ones who who really are detrimental to a young woman's growth I and again this is why I think that we should advocate for a comprehensive sex education program one that's in depth, one that teaches us, one that gives us opportunities to prevent. I don't think that, you know, birth control or, or self-gratification, masturbation, whatever, wanking it, I don't think that either of those are selfish. I think that if you want to control your own body, then you should. I think that it's your body Yes, God gave it to you, but you were the steward of the temple that God gave you, and if you want to keep it the way you want it until you're ready for something, that is completely up to you. Am I going to tell you that I'm a virgin? No. No. <laughs> yeah, sure, I quote the Bible. Yes, I believe in God and I'm a Christian, but I didn't wait. And I don't regret it. You shouldn't either. And don't let this slut shaming and guilt get to you. Ladies, go out. Go to your Planned Parenthood and talk to people. Be an advocate. Be a representative to other girls who are younger than you, who need to be protected. Help educate them properly. Don't tell them lies. Go and get books. Go and get instructional videos, get condoms and show them how to put them on a guy. Guys, inform yourself. I can't tell you how many guys that I've run into at my university who have no idea what's going on with their own body, much less another woman, and they didn't know until they took a human sexuality course. And by that time, it was too late because they were 20 years old, taking a human sexuality course, learning things that they should have learned in high school sex education, and they had kids in high school that they could have prevented. Sure, they love their kids, and that's great. Who doesn't love their kid? Well, except for horrible people. But, I mean, they're grateful for their children, and they love them. But at a young age, you shouldn't be having children. You should be off learning about yourself and becoming an adult. You should be off doing something with your life and learning and, and I'm 20 and I'm not even ready for kids. I'm learning about myself. I can barely take care of myself. You can't see my part of the room since, well, that right there is my roommate's bed and she's really neat and tidy, but my side of the room? Horrible. Terrible. It's a mess. 
and I think that birth control is a great option because if I were to get pregnant, where would I put it? Where would I put this kid? I'm in a dorm. I don't have time for a kid. I barely have time for myself. Go out, be an advocate, and learn. And don't let these Ohio nuns tell you what to do with your body. It should be your choice. Anyway. Luke, sign out. <laughs> Alright. Bye, guys.